हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ प्रियंद्र कुमार एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल लर्न समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग इन एक्सेल एंड वीबीए सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ स्केटिंग मैन ऑन एक्सेल वर्कशीट एज यू आर लुकिंग माय विंडो आई हैव क्रिएटेड थ्री बटन एंड वन स्क्रॉल बार सो इफ आई विल क्लिक ऑन द स्क्रॉल बार द स्पीड विल बी इनक्रीज ऑफ द रनिंग ऑब्जेक्ट like that okay and if i will click on stop then the image will be stop or then i can click again on start then it will be start okay stop start and there is another button is available which is reset so reset i have created for reset the image so if i will click on the set then image will be reached on starting point okay so this is really interesting isn't it so i hope you would like to learn it how i have created it so i am creating a new workbook control n and we will create on this new workbook so i am just removing the grid lines from view and i am just copying this picture you can download this picture or any other picture from the google so and and i'm just closing the existing workbook because we will create this macro on a new workbook from the starting okay so i've just have taken this picture only and this is a simple image okay nothing else so i'm just pressing control uh, sorry alt f11 to going to the vba window and just inserting a module from insert and i'm creating the start subroutine so there is three button in this start stop and reset so i'm creating the first macro which is start so i'm defining the worksheet dim sh as worksheet set sh equal to active sheet which is my active sheet sheet 1 wherein we will you know create the running picture okay so now i will define a shape dim sp as shape okay i am defining the shape for the particular picture so set sp dot shape equal to now we can give the picture name which is picture underscore oh sorry picture space one we can copy it from there okay now my picture has been defined as sp okay now i will create a label here to running the loop and we will use three excel cells to taking the support which is a1 b1 and c1 i will tell you in which condition we will use these cells so first of all i am creating run underscore loop a label and we will use do events so i'll tell you why we are using the do events because do events will enable us to doing uh, something on excel sheet while running the macro okay so i'm using the range a1 here as i told you we will use three cells in supporting so i am taking this condition if ss dot range a1 is not equal to blank then exit sub that means if my a1 cell is not equal to blank then macro will be stopped okay so this is basically the exit condition from the loop okay now i am using the cell b1 i am typing here right so b1 cell i will use for giving the direction so b1 cell will tell the macro that where to where my picture should be you know run so it will run from towards the right towards the up okay so now i'm defining an as integer and n equal to ss dot range c1 so i'm using the c1 here right and i have given a value on c1 is 2 so we will use the c1 for the speed of the picture so if 
द रेंज वैल्यू ऑफ द सीवन विल बी हाई देन स्पीड विल बी हाई ओके एंड इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ द सीवन इज लो वन टू और थ्री देन स्पीड विल बी लो ओके सो आई एम टाइपिंग हेयर राइट सो माई फर्स्ट सो ना एम स्टार्टिंग द राइटिंग द कोड फॉर मूविंग द इमेज सो वेरी फर्स्ट आई विल मूव माई इमेज फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट सो इमेज विल बी रनिंग टू वर्स राइट दैट इज वाई आई हैव रिटिन ऑन सेल बी वन राइट सो इट इज गिविंग द डायरेक्शन टू द मैक्रो दैट वेयर शुड वेयर माई इमेज शुड बी मूव ओके सो ना नाउ आई एम गिविंग अ कंडीशन इफ कंडीशन हेयर इफ रेंज वी वन डॉट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू राइट ओके देन जस्ट क्लोज द इफ कंडीशन सो बी वन डॉट वैल्यू इक्वल टू ऑलरेडी इज राइट ओके सो नाउ आई एम जस्ट क्लोजिंग द इफ कंडीशन एंड आई विल स्टार्ट राइटिंग द कोड between the if so just watch this code carefully because all the code will be the same for all direction so this is the first direction actually so sp dot left equal to sp dot left plus n n is the speed okay so if my image will go from left to right then left obviously will be increased that is why i'm taking sp plus left plus n okay so if sp dot left is greater than 550 so 550 is the extreme right point of my active window that is why i am taking this condition if my image will be reached at the extreme right then this condition will run which is sp dot rotation equal to 270 degree basically so uh, my image will rotate on 270 degree and now sp dot range b1 range b1 is the direction where to image will run okay now i am writing here the sp dot range b1 dot value equal to up now my image will start running towards up okay so now i am just copying this code and pasting uh, in below and just changing the uh, some condition here move down to up now Uh, image will run down to up and now changing the condition if ss dot range b1 dot value equal to up then now sp dot top equal to sp dot top minus n because the image is running now from down to upside so obviously my top will be decrease now okay so just like first of all it will go from left to right then uh, down to up now right to left okay and again obviously uh, up to down so now i'm i'm taking condition also here sp dot tap top is less than 10 then rotation on 180 degree i'm just take first of all i rotate on 270 now on 180 again i will repeat on the 90 then again zero okay and now sp dot range v1 dot value equal to left now move right to left now my uh, image has reached on the uh, top right corner so now i'm moving move right to left set uh, sorry uh, ss dot range v1 if ss dot range v1 equal to left then this run will this code will run so the code will be ss dot left equal to sorry sp dot left equal to sp dot left minus 1 so my image will run now from right to left so obviously my left will be decreased that is why i am using sp dot left minus n okay so now i am again giving the condition if sp dot left is less than 10 which is extreme left then my image will be rotate on 90 degree and now sp dot range uh, ss dot range b1 dot value will be down that is indicating indicating uh, now my image will run towards downside 
okay so now I have copy this and I'm writing the code uh, uh, sh dot range b1 dot value equal to down then sp dot top equal to sp dot top plus n now image is going towards downside that is why my top will be increased now okay so sp dot top is greater than 260 which is the extreme down of the active window then image will be rotate on 0 and sp dot range dot value equal to right and now I'm just giving the go to statement here go to and just run underscore loop okay so there are four condition I have given here for the each direction okay so now let's check the code we can press alt f 11 uh, alt f 8 sorry and select start and run so now look at this the code is running we can change the speed I can type here 5 and run again so now it's running fine it's working perfectly okay guys so I I have uh, type 1 at a1 then it has been stopped so as we have given the condition in the starting if range a1 dot value is not equal to blank then exit sub so that is why if we will uh, write anything on a1 then ma uh, macro will be stopped so i am creating another macro for stop to assigning it on the stop button so it's pretty simple i'll just give active seed dot range a1 dot value equal to 1 okay if i will type on active uh, on range a1 1 then it will be stopped or even i can type anything on the range a1 then macro will be stopped since we have taken the condition uh, if range uh, a1 is not equal to blank then macro will be stopped so we can write anything to stop the macro on range a1 okay so now i am inserting another module to create the uh, sub reset so i am just copying some code from start which is just seed define and the save define to saving the time so uh, to reset the image i'll give few condition here which is ss dot range a1 dot value equal to one or anything for just for stopping the macro and ss dot range v2 dot value equal to right so by default when macro will reset then the position of the image will be right to uh, sorry left to right uh, moving to left to right okay so and uh, one more thing we will give here which is sp dot left equal to 5 sp dot top equal to 260 so this is the position of the image which will be uh, by default in the set condition so it uh, it this image will be in uh, down left corner okay so I'm taking a rectangle here from the insert shapes and taking another rectangle to using the button over this rectangle just you can give any color edit text I'm just writing start okay just format it and we can make the copy of this button the second button will be stop okay and create another copy the third one which is reset reset okay now we will assign the macro on these three button so we have created three macro right click the button assign and go to the start okay right click stop button select assign macro and we will select stop macro this is okay right click reset assign macro and reset macro okay so reset start and stop okay fine so um, 
I think now code has been completed whatever we need to write in terms of coding and uh, now we can test it so we have to give a condition here basically first of all when start code will run then ss dot range a1 dot clear or equal to blank dot value equal to blank or the dot clear so that code will start running okay and uh, on the just let's check on the range b1 right is already on the v2 we have taken v2 actually so we have to take only three cells a1 b1 and c1 okay so start it's running change the value of c1 it is running fast stop start reset okay so there is one more condition we forget to add in reset condition which is rotation okay so we have to rotate the image on zero degree which is the default condition just reset it so now stop reset perfect working fine so now I think it is complete now now we can go to the insert and a uh, scroll bar drag it over the rectangle rounded rectangle and select minimum value 1 maximum is 10 okay and select cell link is then c1 we have linked the speed from c1 now just look at this if we will increase the speed increase the value of c1 the speed is increasing right perfect it's working fine now so highest speed we have given 10 so reset it now we can select this and give the font white okay and just remove the heading from the view tab so it's looking now neat and clean start stop and okay there is some just make it white okay start so it's working fine i think now so it is it is not much difficult you can practice it i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for the watching